Hello and welcome. I'm going to solve an example about Thevenin's theorem. Let's start by giving an idea about the theorem. It provides replacing a given network by a single voltage source with a series resistance. It makes the solution of complicated networks quick and easy. In Thevenin's theorem, we need to compute the equivalent resistance and the equivalent voltage. To compute the Thevenin equivalent resistance, first of all, remove the load, cancel all independent voltage and current sources, and compute the total resistance. To compute the Thevenin's voltage, we need to remove the load, define the open circuit voltage across the open load terminals, solve for the open circuit voltage, or VOC. The Thevenin voltage is the same as the open circuit voltage, or V Thevenin equals V open circuit. Let's solve this example to understand the Thevenin's theorem. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the circuit shown. This means that we need to find the equivalent resistance and the equivalent voltage. To find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, we need to remove the load, R load. We can see here there is no R load. And cancel the voltage source and the current source. The voltage source is replaced by a short circuit. And the current source is replaced by an open circuit. As we can see here, there is no current source. In order to calculate the R Thevenin, we need to start from the side that's opposite to the side of the removed load, which means this side. So we'll start by calculating the equivalent resistance. We have 4 parallel to 12. The resulting resistance will be in series with the 1 ohm resistance. Therefore, we write 4 parallel to 12 plus 1. And this is the equivalent resistance. Now we are going to find the Thevenin's voltage, or V Thevenin. V Thevenin is the open circuit voltage in the location of the removed load. We can simply cancel this resistance because there is no current flowing in this resistance, because this terminal is an open circuit. We can see that V Thevenin is parallel to the voltage here, and that's why we call the voltage here V Thevenin. This means that we need to find the voltage in this resistance, or the V Thevenin. And in order to find the voltage here, we can apply mesh method, or the nodal method. To solve using the mesh method, first of all we need to define the currents I1 and I2, now we need to write the equations for I1 and I2. Let's start with I1. So we write 32 minus 4 I1 minus 12 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. Since we have a current source in I2, we can directly say I2 equals 2 amperes. But since the direction of I2 is opposite to the direction of the current source, we write I2 is equal to minus 2 amperes. By substituting this value in this equation, we get the value of I1, which is 0 0.5 amperes. Since we have I1 and I2 now, we can find the Thevenin's voltage. By writing the following, V Thevenin is 12, the value of the resistance, multiplied by I1 minus I2, I1 minus I2, because both I1 and I2 contribute in the current flowing in the 12 ohms resistance. And by solving, we get the Thevenin's voltage, which is 30 volts. We can also solve using the nodal method. We can see that we have only one node here, 
that need to be solved. So we need only one equation to find the Thevenin's voltage. Now we need to apply KCL or Kirchhoff's current law to this node and we can write the following. This current here is input to the node. So we write 32 minus V Thevenin over 4. The 2 amperes current is also entering the node so we write it in the same side of the equation. The current that's flowing in the 12 ohms resistance is leaving the node and that's why we write it in the other side of the equation. The value of this current is V Thevenin minus 0 because this is the reference node or the ground node so V Thevenin minus 0 over 12 or simply V Thevenin over 12. And by solving, we get the value of V7, which is 30 volts. So we obtain the same answer using the mesh method and the nodal method. Now we have the thickness voltage and the thickness equivalent resistance. Therefore, we can replace the entire circuit diagram with a voltage source and a series resistance, the value of V Thevenin is 30 volts and R Thevenin is 4 ohms as obtained from the previous step. Thank you very much.